Yeah, Smart War Games here. Let's check out the new release for Lock and Load Tactical Battle to the Rhine. Give me a moment to head to my chat. Give me a moment to head to my chat. Okay, yeah. Let's check what this comes with content for. It seems you have we have three armies here. Commonwealth. Yeah, let me first fix the sound. Good. Yeah. I've noticed here in my Steam list that there are more and more releases scheduled for Lock and Load Tactical, which is of course good news, especially for fans of the series, based on a board game. You could say something similar, if, as most people know what Advanced Squad Leader or the regular Squad Leader is. This is similar. And yeah, if you enjoy games like this or digital games like Squad Battles, Tigers on the Hunt, this is also a good option on high authenticity. Good, yeah, the less we will leave on default, so check out what we have here. We have six scenarios with three armies present. Commonwealth, US, or four armies. The German also come with two armies, regular Wehrmacht and Yeah, um, you can pause the video. I will go through every single scenario so you can see the battle layout and it also shows you the OOBs it seems and also the TOE tanks are also here. I've heard on the store page it was described that tanks improved. Right, that tanks improved. Yeah, I'm just checking sometimes I'm using a new streaming software. Switched from Streamlabs OBS to Classic. And you can let me know if the settings are better from what you usually know here. Yeah, tanks, uh, tanks, anti tank guns here. Okay, yeah. Second. And unfortunately, they are not linked, but I found out that uh, Lock and Load Publishing is planning finally some. Yeah, campaign experience or story experiences for this game engine. Um, there are some modules planned that will offer linked scenarios and there's also a module that seems to be offering some sort of storytelling based on accounts where you follow a unit and battle alongside with it. I think it was something with, uh, with Airborne, U US Airborne. World War II, and that is very good news because I sometimes struggle with those isolated scenarios. They simply don't immerse me and don't keep my attention too much. I'm absolutely the campaign player or need a connected experience So, and would like to invest more time into that. So great to hear, especially with those story elements based on true accounts that is absolutely hitting my nail. That is good, so you can expect a lot from this series in the upcoming Manifs. And you see it's not only... Um, that is also great because some of those games rather abstract everything. It is not like US infantry, uh, but true units with belonging to authentic formations. 
And yeah, we will play one. Not sure if I can finish it, we will see. I can't uh, predict the length. Ah, here, they're already here. No, but not all, there are some... Yeah, there are some that are not in this list yet. But very interesting, there's a lot coming up for this. Seems like they're really coming up with many of those packs and many of them coming with not only additional battles but with those mentioned unique aspects like campaign or story. Good, yeah, let's choose one. Or oh, let's see, is there anything else? Sometimes those modules come with special rules and you can access those rules here. But it, does, it says core, uh, core rules. I think if you start a scenario... Yeah, interesting, I mean... Because the board game, I guess, has more... More... Modules already ready, I would wonder what is these two modules about. But could be that you will see a lot of releases for that. And yeah, that is the core rules. I already talked about them in, in, in my video where I checked out the core module which you can get on Steam. I've, yeah, tutorials. I might need some time to get back into the game. In As you know, I play a ton of ga different games on my channel. You can't keep track in detail of all rules and I didn't spend that much time to this day in this game. But we will... We will as usual, we will manage it. So let's see, um, I didn't check myself the briefings. Let's quickly find something that interests me. Uh, perhaps with some tanks, that would be great. Didn't see that often tanks here. Here we have some fireflies. Here we have five M4A1s. That's ten squads. Okay, this is something huge. Two Panzer four fives, uh, Panthers. Yeah, this seems to be something is here. The Germans are pants. Oh, tigers! Yeah, come on. Okay, I want to. I want some tiger action here. Ah, uh, here more tigers. This is two Cromwells, fireflies. Yeah, I think I picked this here. Hide and seek. Yeah, come on. Let's pick hide and seek. I mean, perhaps it is also sorted in some sort of complexity. Usually the first is the, let's say, a bit, I mean, there is no easier, they should be balanced. They are usually balanced for multiplayer, but could be that if you play against AI, I think I remember that if you play against the AI, the AI might receive additional help, because obviously the AI can't compete with, uh, with, um, human player. Yeah, about Fock, and Fock of War, I don't know, we could of course, because it is again, to, could play with none. As I guess the board game is also played with none, but that is a big advantage of of um, yeah, computer games, that Fock of War is easily handled by the system, which is rather difficult on board games. The question is, keeps the game tracks? That sometimes in those games they don't keep track. You need to keep it in your memory what you saw there and when you saw it. I like it how, for example, games like Comet Mission do it that they give you inter um, that those reports stay when they move out of vision, that you still know they are somewhere around there. I mean, it was set to none. Let's play on none because I also need to get myself into the game. This will help. To learn, to relearn it again, and we will play from the Commonwealth side. Let's go. But this game could really work great in a campaign setup, or something with a core force, where you have a core force, you have a some sort of battle group. A battle group. You can perhaps even select yourself what you want to use. Uh, something like in a Win SP World War II, which is based on Steel Panthers or Panzer Corps, 
by Slytherin or combat mission. And if they would integrate something like this, this game could really become great. Good. Good.